Hi everyone, Rob here again from the Department of Education at CBU and in this video I am going to look at how to use Google Forms to create a self-evaluation form for students in your class and then how to extract the data from those self-evaluations and use them in your master grading spreadsheet for your course. What I'm going to start with is creating a new Google Form. So I will click on the new. If you don't see forms listed here, simply click the more button and I'll click Google Forms. It is going to create a, a blank form for me. So I will call this participation self-evaluation. You can add whatever instructions you want in here for your students and start adding your questions. So I'm going to change this question type here from multiple choice to a uh, short answer. Make this required because you need their name. I will click the plus sign to add a, another field. Again, I'm going to pick short answer, make it required. You could go right to the extent of asking them for their student ID. Very helpful if you have a large class and you have more than one student with the same name. And again, you can leave this as short answer text, make it required. And now I will need to add my actual evaluation categories for my students. I have a Word doc version of a self-evaluation rubric ready to go here. I have four criteria for my students. Class sessions, weekly activities, discussion, uh, quality of discussion posts, and quantity of discussion posts. Each of these is on a scale from zero to two points. The easiest way to handle this, you could set this up as a Likert scale where they actually click on the dot, but I'm going to set this up as a uh, multiple choice form for them. So I'll come back into my form and I will add a new question. And my first criteria is class sessions. This will be multiple choice. Option one is going to be zero. Option two is going to be one point, 1.5, and two points. So each category gets scored out of two points in this case. And again, I can make this question requ required for my students. I can also add instructions here as to what each criteria means. I will add another one, and it's going to be weekly activities. Zero. One, 1.5, and two. And I would repeat this process until I had all four of my criteria uh, uploaded and ready to go. I'm going to skip that for just a moment and um, click on the send button to show you what this would look like for students. So if I hit this, I can get a link to share this for my students. I can shorten that link. I can also get the HTML code if I want to embed this into my Moodle course. In this case, I'm just going to grab the link. And if I were to paste that link in, this is what my students will see. So I can go ahead and answer this as a student. And I'm going to give myself one for my attendance and 1.5 for my activities and hit submit. My, re my response has been recorded. As a teacher, I can come back in here now. I'll see that there's one response. I'm going to export this response as a spreadsheet. So I'll create spreadsheet. And it will open up the spreadsheet for me. Now I have my student here with his scores recorded. I can export this as um, as a CSV file or as an Excel file. 
And then I can open this up, copy paste these scores for my student so that they line up with my master grading spreadsheet. And uh, I can organize the spreadsheet here in Google Forms according to whatever criteria I want by first name, last name, student ID, however I have my Excel spreadsheet organized. Then I can just copy paste these scores, put them into my spreadsheet, and I can follow through on the steps that I use to actually merge these with a grading rubric and spit out my PDFs for my feedback to my students.